Hello everybody. In this video, we'll learn how to use Wireshark on a Kali Linux machine. As you can see, I have the sandbox for Kali here. And we'll go to the application and we'll start to find uh, Wireshark. We all know that Kali Linux is a pre-installed environment with a lot of software that can use in many network security tasks including some information gathering like Dimitri and Nmap it can have vulnerability tests it can also have some Cisco tools as you can see fuzzy tools stress tools web application tools information gathering as you can see it have all the SMTP analysis as you can see in all this software so i really highly recommend you to spend some time and see what tools are available for uh, each of these um, uh, tabs under Kali linux a lot of students they use Kali linux many times but they never go and see what's actually inside for example for the sniffing uh, sniffing and spoofing tool here if you can see, see network sniffers uh, you can see that under the menu have Wireshark. So in this video, we're focusing on Wireshark. So let's open Wireshark and see how it is. Same interface as you can see from any Wireshark program, regardless it's Windows or Linux. I just will open um, a terminal here just to get my IP address. So we put ifconfig. So now I know that my address is the subnet 0.2.2 .2 and the ethernet interface name is ether0. So this is the ether0 here and it will tell you if there's any activity. I will open any browser, let's say Firefox. We'll give it a moment because it's a, a virtual machine so it might be low in resources so just put some traffic here and you can see as soon as i open fire uh, uh, firefox you can see some activity happen so we'll go to google and you can put any any check for example Home Depot for example I can see the activity let's go and open another tab to increase a bit of traffic we'll go to YouTube and you can see all the traffic goes on so now I will get to the Ethernet zero and start to capture the traffic you can see how the traffic will go I will search for any available um, video here uh, that we might have so I will go for our division of the support thing and you see through the advertisement you can see all the traffic that goes on here you will see a lot of UTP traffic other than the TCP because of the video content that we're sending here the DNS communication and all the connection between them I will stop this video so it will not consume a lot of traffic and I will go and see what we have here so we're gonna stop the recording or the packet capturing and just to make sure I will make it will save it to a file so I will save it and put it on the desktop and we can call it cap one and notice that the extension will be pcap ng which is a pcap next generation we'll save this one let's look at the traffic here so whenever we have any TCP IP traffic or so on you can see the frame the Ethernet header the internet protocol header and the transmission protocol header if you click inside you can see the port because this we go from down to top here to get the information of the traffic transmission internet protocol is ip ethernet then the frame so here you can see the port and uh, the source and the destination port numbers the sequence numbers and the flags it was an acknowledgement traffic remember the tcp handshake this was an acknowledgement if you go to the IP protocol, you can see here the total length, the identification. 
and all the header parameters as well as the source address and the destination address from this packet let's go back up here we'll talk we already opened the ethernet protocol so i'll just collapse it i will go to the ethernet source it will tell you the mac address here you see it's vmware well, it tells me now that the sandbox is built on a vm environment this is what actually how it works the vm behind the sandbox all this information gathered just looking at the traffic i can get even the operating system if i go into the extended options So this is an example of the frame um, there's a lot of analysis you can do statistics and so far and you can see all this type of traffic if something was dropped will be listened to here with different colors every color have a definition i will recommend you to go out and look at it but my main or my most favorite part of wire shark is actually whenever you go to the flow graph look at it as in textbook, whenever she tells you the source and destination, how it works, I just will maximize here so you can see how the connection. It tells you the time, tells you the packet ID, sequence ID, and all the parameters that was to connecting from the communication, from the local data application, what's the real IP. If you scroll down, you can see all the communication how it went from one to two which which tells me that this is ip of the gateway whenever we go out to the network i'll scroll down a little bit you can see how to reach to the another real ip here uh, local ip till it reaches the real ip later on anytime you can use this ip and check with the who's who's it website and get information what is this ip but i will tell you from the beginning it's youtube because it's what we open today and you can see all the communication with the acknowledgement the lens the sequence number all the application data and so on this is why i like the view of wireshark and if you scroll a bit to the side here you can see all the other ips that we communicated on the way if we scroll down to the bottom here so you can see all the communications I'll scroll this to the right you can see all the transactions that happen from the local to any outside IP and how to track the packets which is very useful for cyber security um, not only to see how the traffic went but also it give us idea how we can use this data to develop the whole picture for our course as an assignment I want you please to make a screenshot of a flow graph of any traffic that you captured. This will be your assignment. Thank you.